What is good, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Foxy. Welcome back to the Fox's Den. We're getting to another episode of Blue Lock, and I'm very excited for this one because the way the last one ended, looks like we're finally getting into an actual game and you know a scrimmage, so to speak. But I wonder how the points and rank system is on the line, if it is on the line, or if this is just a sort of test of how they're doing in this so far like they have games every so often to just see how people are improving in this program but i would assume that their ranks and you know um stakes in this career or this operation is still on the line in some way i just don't think it's been explained yet and how that works for scrimmages and games but i'm very excited to get into this nonetheless because it's the first actual game that we're going to see and i hope you know it's like a full full-on game and you know maybe it lasts the whole episode or maybe it's just half an episode because it doesn't get too crazy like who knows it could be a wipeout you know because it's the worst team uh the worst the worst group z who you know still has some pretty decent players in there so i can't imagine like some what some of the other higher teams are like but they're facing off against i think team team x i think so they're facing you know a group that's two levels above them because there's y as well so we're about to see what's good with this episode. I'm very excited to get into it. I hope you guys are as well. If you guys enjoyed the reaction, please leave a like down below, comment, and subscribe if you're new. There's plenty more on the way. Let's get it. Good old rock, paper, scissors between team captains. Oh, wait, no. Okay, so they chose, they chose their positions through rock, paper, scissors. Okay. ただし敗れた3チームからもチーム内得点王のみ勝ち上がることができる Oh wow, so this is how the ego is going to be involved because those teams that do the worst can still go home but their best scorers will stay. Isn't that a is that a girl or no? I was not expecting the voice from that the redhead. Maybe it's just a lower tone voice and it is a, it looks like a girl, but maybe it's not. Well, I guess they still split up sports male and female, right? So this is these are all dudes, I'm assuming. The way his hair is, it just looks like it was a girl for whatever reason. These motherfuckers look like they're wild, and they're only Team X. Who the fuck is Team B, C, D, E? Like, who the fuck are those motherfuckers, bro? I need to know. I need to know. Bro, the more and more I listen to these openings, I notice, like, it feels like I'm listening to it for the first time again, and it, like, actually hits me more. Like, Spy Family's opening is getting more and more catchy. I don't really remember listening to this one, but this shit's fire. It's showing some of the other teams right there, too. Like, bro, there's got to be some wild teams. Oh, dude, I, I can't wait to see this. I want to see some wild shit, bro. I haven't watched a sports anime in so long. That's right. We saw that pink-haired dude that's playing out of the country and pretty much gave up on Japan, but then he saw the, 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 the press conference about Blue Lock, and he was like, wait, I'm interested, I'm interested in this. Oh, his teammate just stole it from him. Mm, see, this is how it's going to create discord through the team as well. Ooh, bro, this constant ego and teamwork battle. This is this is gonna be interesting. This is a mess. This is such a mess. Ooh. Oh, 
Okay. Show A. Oh! Just like that. Easy. Gone. Oh, oh my god. Yo, no way. This motherfucker's got the same voice actor as Aomine from uh, Kuroko's No Basketball. Oh, he's got an ego for sure. He said on the field, I am the king. Nah, that, that fits that voice actor so well, bro, because... Aomine was a different breed of fucking cocky, and he had a big ego as well, because he was so fucking good. Nobody stood up to him as a direct challenge for so long. Yeah, what's he gonna do here? Is he is he gonna, like, find his groove and be able to com compete, like, 1v1 with someone this good? Or are they actually gonna find a groove as, as a team? Because it's a constant battle between this ego and team thing. Yeah, but if you guys lose and none of y'all score, then it doesn't fucking matter. See, they're passing to the guy that can just fucking get the shit done. It is the same voice actor, bro. That is so... I, I love his voice actor so much. giving me goosebumps because he's a nasty ass player who voiced another nasty ass player in basketball it's already two zip y'all better work you better work better than this Okay, so he created it from zero by becoming the big ego on the field and that let his team believe in him and just pass him the ball Four zip. Little duo, a little duo, uh, forming here. Mm, I love how their eyes changed to the same, the same art style. Oh, bro, I'm liking this. Come on, boys! Come on! Mm. Yeah, I knew it. Come on, come on. What do you just realize? What's going on? Ooh. Mm, he remembered he had a powerful ass kick by getting kicked by him in the stomach. That was a far ass goal, but they got it. And he that was a perfect pass. <laughs> this guy blows his gasket every five minutes. <laughs><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> 
Damn. Straight to the point. All right, and the game's over. I don't know, bro. I think that's some talent that you don't realize you have. You didn't mean to make that pass, but it was a perfect fucking pass. And he almost instinctively did it without even knowing that he was passing to the person that would have been the, the best person to get it from range. He has a strong-ass kick. Bro, I, lo I love the voice actor so much, bro. I'm just seeing Aomine, and then this dude is also badass as fuck. He calls himself the king on the field? Bro, no. This uh, shit, this, uh, this shit is hyping me up, bro. Bro, what the fuck? うん。ただか。あれをいっぱいやれば勝てる。な、イサギ。な。だってもはワールドカップ優勝するためにとか言って。クリスティアーノ・ロナウドとかメッシとか監督の名前出してたけど、そいつらみんな優勝なんかして
<laughs> yeah, this is good. Yeah, this is reminding me that this is like a lot like the Juju Scrolls um, from Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> what the fuck? What? The fuck? That's <laughs> oh, funny. Alrighty, guys, that was another amazing episode of Boo Lock. Like I thought, it didn't last the whole episode of the game, but it lasted about half the episode, and we quickly realized how crazy this whole ego and team thing is starting to clash because they're so used to playing you know teamwork 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 is how they've been raised to play soccer and then you throw that all that out the window and you start like how this dude said soccer from zero like starting it from zero literally means like what happened in the first couple seconds of that game where it was just a free-for-all you know the teammates were stealing from each other because there's this rule where like you know if the top strikers you know, whoever the top strikers on the team well even if the team fails striker moves on so it creates this like double-edged sword where like if you you can play with the teamwork and try and secure the dub and then your whole team goes forward or you can only be thinking about yourself which is what most people were going through and battling during that game is just trying to score on their own and um if you happen to be the top striker then you go through by yourself so this is where this ego and team thing are starting to clash and it's really starting to become evident and, you know, Isagi thinks he's finally gotten a little bit of a idea of what this dude, you know, uh, Ego, um, I think that's what they're calling him, the, the operation instructor or whatever, is Ego. I think they're literally calling him by that, or maybe that's his actually, actually his name or just what he told him to call him. I don't know. But I think Isagi is thinking he's finally got an idea of what he meant, where, like, Zero is this free-for-all, and you need something, a part of that team, you know, whether it's one player doing something extremely well because they're just cracked, like the the dude that calls himself a king, I think his name's Shoei or something like that, or, or what's his, what's his, I think they're calling him by his last name, as like, like they usually do in Japanese, uh, I think it was Baru, or Baro, something like that. That motherfucker is nasty. I mean, he, he created that path for himself, got by like three people and scored a goal, and that's all he really needed to do to get control of the team and establish his ego effortlessly. And that's where the t his team was just like, all right, bet, you know, let's start fucking passing our fucking, you know, the ball to Baru and just have him score, and we'll obviously win this game, and the team moves on completely. So they established their, like, zero to one, like, pretty quickly. Um, and Isuki was noticing this and it's like, damn, like we have no hope if we're just going to keep, you know, fight, fighting for ourselves and trying to play for ourselves. We got to find a way to get to R1. Like we got to find a way. So finally him and, uh, I think his name's Barashi. Yeah. Barashi. They, they form a quick little duo in the last, you know, stretch play in the last three minutes to try and at least score one goal, which they did end up, end up accomplishing as a team. But that duo was the one that was able to make it happen. Barashi had the ball at first and Isagi just went straight towards the goal and got a perfect pass to Isagi from Barashi. And he, you know, was confronted by Baru and he was like, nah, you're not getting past me. Like, come on now. The fuck I'm, I'm the king like don't start getting more attention than me the fuck so you know as you see it was ego versus ego there is he gonna take the shot is he gonna pass he's got two teammates coming up behind him and he made the decision to actually take the shot because he didn't last time in his you know in his qualifying nationals game with his high school team so he was like now nah, fuck that I'm, I'm taking the shot but like unconsciously like he said it after he didn't mean to intentionally pass it it was unintentional but he passed it anyway, a perfect pass to the orange-haired fellow who just so happens to have the strongest foot, probably, as far as we can tell, um, on the team who was able actually to score a goal from that far because everybody was like, there's no way he's scoring that from that range. Like it's, He's fucking far out of shit. Boom, scores the goal because he has a strong-ass foot and a good fucking kick. And Isagi knew that on, like subconsciously because he got kicked by him. 
Like he, he received one of his kicks and it was right in the stomach and you know it knocked the wind out of him. So he knew it subconsciously. It's just, I wonder how that actually happened. Like maybe this ego thing that he's bringing up comes out in different ways. Like there's different types of ego because ego really just means that you're very confident, right? Like you're cocky, like you, you know what you need to do and you know you can accomplish it. And that's what carries you so far. So, you know, that could be for anything. That doesn't have to just be for a striker too. Sure, he's mentioned strikers thus far. And if you want to become the best striker, but can't you perform that striker role in like different ways? I'm, I'm not really sure because a striker is pretty strict. Like a striker literally means like someone who kicks the ball towards the goal, right? But like, I'm thinking maybe this ego thing could be applied to, you know, other roles or other, you know, that's what I'm thinking at least. Like maybe Team Z is going to find their own way and do something completely different. Whereas some of these better teams, like they all have this one person that has a huge ego and they build around him. But like maybe it's like kind of the same case for Team Z where Isagi, they kind of build around Isagi, but he has this ego where like he's unmatched in, in setting up plays for his team. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe, yeah, I, I feel like I might be onto something here. Like I don't know if this theory is correct or not, but you know, just the more and more I talk about it, it's starting to make more and more sense. It's because what allowed Team X to perform so well was Baru made the opening play, scored a goal, right? And then his team started making plays specifically for him, that one person. Everyone else on the team is making plays for Baru to be able to score because they know that he's so gifted and he can score. He can get the goals. He can win the game for us as long as we support him and make the plays for him. So that's the whole team supporting one person. But, okay, let's say it's the complete opposite on Team Z side where I'm thinking maybe Isagi, his ego, because he doesn't, he still doesn't really know what happened right there, why he, you know, passed the ball, even though it, it was a good play because they scored. But he was, he said he was going to shoot there. So what if his ego is more of an ego where he is able to make plays for everybody else? He's confident in that he can let anybody on his team score. Depending on what he does and how he passes, you're going to score. Like, whoever it is, it doesn't matter. It could be everybody on the team. And so, instead of the whole team supporting one person, there's one person creating plays and supporting all of the members of his team, which creates, you know, even more avenues of fucking ego and, and, and different styles of play and how they score through Isagi because each person's play style is different. So if Isagi, maybe that's Isagi's thing where his ego um, improves that passing ability of his and, and, and awareness of, of, of his teammates and really makes them shine each in their own way. Like, you know, the orange haired kid, he has a strong ass fucking foot. Badashi, he's a wild card. At least that's what it seems like so far, but maybe he has a certain specific skill that Isagi can fucking hone in on and find a way to work really well with him as well. And, you know different sorts of passes or maybe certain you know different sorts of plays just for Badashi. and then even the other guy like Raichi who's a hothead like you know he really wants to be like the person that always has the ball and whatnot and he's you know tired you know he's like pass it to me pass it to me so like maybe Isuki can find a way that brings his play style out you know what I'm saying so I feel like I feel like that could be a thing I feel, that's what at least it's looking like right now because I don't I don't know I don't have any other explanation until I see the next episode or we continue watching this for Isuki unintentionally passing the ball like he said he was going to shoot there and then he was shocked himself that he didn't and he passed so there's got to be a reason for that and then it's that has to be his specific ego like his ego is going to be like very strong in in passing and bringing out the rest of his team rather than one whole team supporting the one big ego you know what i'm saying so i feel like i feel like i'm kind of kind of on track there but we'll just have to wait and see that's what i'm thinking so far and the fact that this show, you know, a new sports anime, it's about soccer and it's making me think and, and discuss and uh, conversate this much about it, like, is a good sign. You know, it, go, it goes deeper than you, you think. And, I mean, I thought this was going to be a classic fucking, you know, high school team fighting for the spot in nationals and then going to nationals and maybe winning and stuff. You know, the classic plot. But, nah, this is completely different and I've loved every second of it so far. And it's already making me think of what's to come in either the next episode or even in future episodes like you know talking about this ego thing man so you know really really good so far i'm i'm really enjoying blue lock i hope you guys are as well but if you guys enjoy the reaction please leave a like down below comment and subscribe if you're new there's plenty more reactions on the way and your boy foxy is gonna get into some my hero baby episode four i'll see y'all there
Deuces. Thank you.